Hello, my name is Victor, and today I will show you how to check and delete duplicates in Stripe using Zapier. I need to check if a uh, customer that made uh, the purchase uh, has the active uh, subscription in Stripe. I decided to do it using Zapier. The problem was that uh, Zapier, after a charge is made, uh, can't uh, check if there was an active uh, subscription before, because if charge is made, uh, Zapier see the active subscription is this new uh, charge. So we need to check the data before the charge is made. Uh, so I decided to use uh, Google spreadsheet and backup all data from Stripe there. And we will check uh, that uh, table instead of a Stripe account. So what do we need to do? We go to Stripe and export whole subscription data that we have on Stripe. We click on export button. Then we choose all on date range block and click on export. After that, the file will be downloaded to your computer. To get in CSV file. After we open it, we see a strange structure. To see it as a table, we need to go to data from text button and choose the file we just downloaded. After that, we need to get uh, a comma separator. Next. And OK. Now you can see the table of all your customers and subscriptions from Stripe. Now we can see a proper <clears throat> now we can see a proper layout for your table. Next step is creating a zap. We go to Zapier and click on make a zap. That's how your zap will look like. First of all we need to uh, choose a trigger. We uh, will trigger it on a new charge in Stripe because we will uh, check everything uh, just after purchase is made. Uh, what we, do we need to do first? We need to check if user is, exists on our spreadsheet. So we choose uh, an action lookup spreadsheet row, uh, choose this event, choose an account, choose a spreadsheet that we uploaded before and add a customer email here to choose if it is there. Then we need to make two passes. The first pass if a customer doesn't exist on our table. We need to add new customers there. What rule we need to choose is the email email row exactly match value in column A. Value in column A is a default, uh, is a default value as that uh, we get from uh, the spreadsheet if there is no customer there. So if it contains value, column here, value in column A, we continue. After that, we need to add this new user to our spreadsheet so uh, we can check it if uh, he made, if he will make a uh, duplicate payment in the future. So we uh, again choose the account, choose uh, our spreadsheet. But this time, after all of this uh, stuff, uh, we create a Google Sheet spreadsheet row if it doesn't exist yet. So we need to click on this checkbox and add all data here. Uh, let's uh, go to path B. In this case, we need to uh, check uh, the opposite uh, conditions that we had on path B. So email doesn't contain value in column A. So here will be uh, the email that um, Zap will found in our table. And we need to check the status uh, if it is active, because if it's inactive, we don't need to uh, delete the current subscription. So it's, if it's active, we continue. And after that, we cancel subscription in Stripe. We choose an account. 
uh, found the subscription, we get the subscription ID from the first step when we uh, get the data from charge. We add this ID here and delete or cancel the subscription here. That's all. Thank you.